All defensive first team, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the uh, defensive player of the year. Anthony Davis, Rudy Gobert, Marcus Smart, and Ben Simmons makes first team defense for the first time. Second team, uh, Brooke Lopez, Eric Bledsoe, Kawhi Leonard, Bam Adebayo, and Patrick Beverly. And it is our pleasure to welcome to the show Marcus Smart of the Boston Celtics. Second year in a row, your first team all defense. Marcus, congratulations on that. Oh, thank you, guys. Feels and, great. And here's a question for you. Are great defenders born or made? Uh, great defenders are born, but you can become a great defender by, you know, just putting in that work. You know, um, it doesn't, uh, anybody can be one. It is really just depends on how bad you want it, all uh, effort, really. When you, uh, when you figure out, you can guard little guys, ones, twos, threes. I'm not sure about the fours, because I'd have posted you up <laughs> down low. What, what is the, what is it to you, what's your biggest challenge uh, are, are those three positions? Uh, my challenge is probably guarding those little guards just because, you know, I'm 6'3", and, you know, most of the guards I'm guarding are below six foot, and they're just running around all day. Every day. They just continue to go. So that's really my challenge, you know. I really have to lock in more than probably I do on the bigger guys because at, when I'm guarding those bigger guys, uh, my speed, because of uh, me being my size, becomes uh, my, my greatest asset. But when I'm going those little guys, they got all the speed towards me. So I just have to be able to put my body on them throughout the whole game and wear them down. When you're guarding a guy, let's just say he's averaging 30, 35 points, do you say to yourself, OK, tonight I'm holding the 10 to 12 points as a sign of good defense? What's your mentality guarding a guy that's a prolific MF score? Uh, definitely. You know, uh, when you got a guy that's, you know, uh, that, like you said, a prolific scorer, it, it's tough to really just say that you're going to stop him. You know, your best bet is trying to contain him and uh, make everything tough for him. So, you know, got us scoring 30, 35, you know, if you can hold him to 10 or 12, 15 points, you did your job. Well, just, Marcus, just so you know, MF means uh, most frequent for Sprack, Shaq, so just if you, if you didn't know. But um, my question is this. You obviously Shaq to actually about the 30-point scores. Charles told you the multiple positions. I always thought there was a game plan, you know, defensively that your team has. But then what is your internal game plan? Like, like for me, as a point guard, I say, okay, I'm going to push the ball from free throw line to free throw line as fast as I can. I'm going to pick up my defender here. Like, what are the three things that you say every night, I'm bringing this defensively? Uh, so what's funny is, you know, um, a couple years, like two years ago, I actually went out. Uh, to Colorado and, and, and Denver and worked with uh, Chauncey Billups a little bit. So, you know, uh, really just changed my mindset of, you know, we got a lot of great guys on this team who can score the ball. And that's the point guard. My job is to get those guys the ball and, and knock down those open shots. And if all, all this fails, if that's not working, those guys not making shots, then I have to become that aggressive scorer or whatever I need to do on the offensive end. And on the defensive end, just continue to be me as a point guard. And every night I just come out, uh, like I said, just get those guys the ball and just do everything I can to help my team win. Listen, obviously we're here because you're a defensive player, but the other night you went ballistic from three-point land. What, you can see your teammates were happy, were happy for you. What's it like when you're in the zone like that? Oh, uh, man, being in that type of zone is, is different. It's a different feeling. Um, it's literally you in the gym by yourself. Uh, stuff that you've been practicing and doing your, your whole career, just in the gym, getting up extra shots, getting the shots, watching the ball go through the hoop. Man. As we all know who's been in that zone before that, once you get in it, that hoop becomes a lot bigger. It's like the shooting into the ocean. Uh, Marcus, I got to ask you, the, um, because you did test positive at one point for COVID, what can you tell us about um, how that, how it made you feel and, you know, how, you know, what effect did it have on you? Because I know you said, hey, look, take this thing seriously, folks. Um, yeah, for me, when I tested positive for COVID, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was one of the ones blessed enough to, to, to not have any symptoms and actually, you know, um, be okay. Um, it, it, was, it was frustrating in the fact that, you know, uh, my family members were, were worried. It was that extra stress and worry that you put on the dear loved ones. Um, when you find out something like that and uh, not really understanding to the full extent of what this is or what's going to happen long term, short term. Um, so adding that, that frustration on you while, you know, um, trying to, to keep a positive face and, and, and things like that. Uh, but 
Uh, it is serious, and it's something that, you know, I was rather be safe than sorry. And, and, you know, like I said, I was one of the lucky ones where I didn't have any symptoms. And, you know, um, my test came back once I was negative. Everything came back as uh, okay for me with, with my health and everything. So, um, but it, it's something that people need to take seriously. We appreciate having you on the show tonight. We congratulate you once again on being first team all defensive for the second straight year. Marcus Smart joining us from the bubble in Orlando. And we will be.